Konnichiwa doodlers. That's Japanese for hello doodlers. I learned that off the internet. Uh, the reason I'm speaking fluent Japanese is because today is part one of a two-part manga special. Manga is a Japanese comic book and animation genre. It's been around in the Far East for a long, long time, but you see it more and more over here in TV, in video games and comics. But it has a really unique style of drawing. So we're going to be looking at how to draw some male characters, female characters, maybe some animals too. So that... I just flew in my mouth. <coughs> I think I may have swallowed it. <laughs> well, it's such a beautiful day. And I'm in the garden. Do you want to come and help me feed the fish? Come and have a look. I don't know if you can see behind all these flowers. There is a big fish pond. There you go. It's fish food again. Tastes like sawdust. Can we not have a bacon sandwich? Go on, Tom. Go on. Get a bacon sandwich for the lads. There you go. They were very hungry this morning. So what we're going to be looking at today is taking those really simple shapes and how we transform that into a manga style, a cartoon or drawing. So, why don't we go back to the drawing board and let's get doodling. So we are back at the drawing board and like I said we're going to do a male and female character. So there is a bit of a difference between male and female characters. Uh, if we can see this little circle that I've drawn as a head shape, little uh, cross where the eyes and nose go, and you can see that sort of the male character, which is the one on the right, it's just a really quick drawing, the face is far more triangular whereas the female character is a little bit kind of rounder of cheek. Um, less kind of angular than the, the boy. So that's going to be our basic sort of template for what we're going to be drawing. So first of all I'm going to go do two girl characters. Again I'm starting with those really simple shapes, that circle and that little cross. That's going to be where the eyes, nose and mouth will meet. It's sort of, as you can see where I'm drawing, it just kind of helps when you're drawing something quite accurately and quite 3D like this character is going to be those little um, markings can help. So I'm just adding in that nose. Now the nose is a bit of a sort of triangle shape and the eyes are um, going to be big and round. The sort of um, classic sort of manga style of having the kind of big, big cutesy eyes. It's going to do some hair because the hair is quite interesting when you're drawing the, these characters. There's, it's almost like a sort of video game hair. It's kind of chunky in 3D almost like it's been sculpted. So there we go and just get the hair right. As you can see they've got little eyes, big cutesy eyes. Little the, the nose is actually very simple. It's kind of basically a sort of backwards L shape on that side. Um, and we've got the shape of the head and we're just going to round off the cheeks because we want it to be a sort of female character so it's going to be like I say, less kind of angular than the male character. Um, these are all, when you're drawing cartoons, these are all sort of, you know, cliché. The girls have big eyes and sort of rounder faces and the men, the boy characters have kind of um, chiselled jaws and angry looking eyes. I'm going to add a little bit of shading. I'm not going to ink these characters in, they're just going to be some nice sort of simple pencil drawings because we've got a lot of drawing to get to, I haven't got too much time to mess around with the detail. So there, see if we can get those eyes right and rub out the things that I don't need, those little cross lines. Um, again, I'm using a computer, but if you were using pencil and paper, you just need a really good rubber. Uh, a putty rubber is actually a very good rubber because it means you, you can um, point it into a shape. So you can rub out any sort of highlights and things that you might need like that on the hair. But as I'm using a computer, I'm using the kind of rubber tool as a pencil. So rubbing away any of those things that I don't need. Again, these are really sort of quick, quick kind of characters. I haven't got a lot of time for, for any detail. We're going to go into detail next week with the second part of my manga special. But for these, I just want to show you the sort of difference between the boy, girl, the boy characters and the girl characters. 
Now I'm going to use that rubber to make those eyes um, really kind of shiny. Um, again, it sort of all adds to the style. And if you're kind of familiar with how manga manga drawings work, then you will see. Zooming back from the picture again, if you're again don't have a computer, just stand back from your picture, see what it looks like from a distance. It's a really good way of seeing, making sure you're happy with everything. So this is going to be our second girl character. I'm going to give her a slightly different hairstyle. So I've got that kind of, that ball, that 3D shape, and I'm going to work in that kind of slightly softer, cutesier, if you like, sort of jaw and face shape. Again, we're going to use those big eyes, trying to get the jaw right, trying to get that face shape right can be actually quite tricky. Um, it's, I think it's one of the kind of hardest things when you're trying to draw something kind of stylized is trying to get, get the face and jaw looking right from different angles and keeping it consistent as well. So if you move your character around, if you're drawing a comic strip, uh, keeping it so that the character looks the same throughout your drawings, that's a tough one to do. Um, it's the one that kind of uh, professional illustrators really struggle with as well. we go we've got a nice kind of hair so this is just have a look at that shape again that we're trying to get which is that kind of cutesy little uh sort of cheekbone thing going on i'm not quite sure i've got that jaw quite right and um, let's color in the hair then we can have a little zoom out and have a look again I'm just using the side of the pencil for shading like this in my computer this is a um hb pencil it's still pretty good for shading. So if you're using normal pencils, an HB, a 2B, those kind of things, don't use any H's because they're really, really sharp. They'll like cut a hole in your in your in your uh, piece of paper. So a nice soft pencil, an HB or lower, is really good. Let's get those eyebrows. It's kind of little flush cheeks. Now we can rub anything out that we don't need, any of those little lines to give the hair some highlights. <coughs> I think I can still taste some fly, that fly that flew into my mouth. <laughs> oh, that's better. There we go. I'm happy with a bit of shading down the side of the face, some shading on the hair. looking pretty good but I will zoom out and let's take a look at that yeah there's something not quite right, right with the bottom of her head and jaw there I'm just gonna have a look zoom out and make it a little bit rounder that's better isn't it it makes it simpler there we go so although it's a different character they kind of come from the same place as the girl character the other girl character Finish off the drawing, finish off any shading, any kind of last minute rubbing out. I'm not going to do the bodies again. That's going to be something that we're going to look at next week. And there we go. That's my two girl characters. So we're kind of happy with how that's looking. We can start to think about uh, doing our next drawing, drawing those male characters. So remember, we're kind of using that same circle, that kind of 3D shape with those um, little markings on so we can see where the eyes are, are going to be and where the nose is going to be. Um, but instead of um, the face being quite rounder, it's going to be sort of longer and, and pointier. So we're going to have those kind of, that chiseled kind of draw. Jaw, not draw. There we go. So start off with two circles again. I'm going to make that. It's almost like a sort of curved sort of triangle at the bottom. Let's have this this guy's hair sort of blowing in the wind. They have really cool hair, don't they? I've got to, to try something like that with my hair. What do you think? No? Yeah, I think you're probably right. And this character is going to be 
fairly angry, fairly stern looking. Now the eyes are a different shape on the male characters. They're a little bit sort of almost rectangular rather than round. I'm going to swap over my pencil now. Started with a, a sort of soft 6B pencil, getting the shape, keeping the drawing really loose before kind of getting a nice um, sharper pencil like an HB or a 2B to get those detail because sometimes it's hard to get detail with the kind of big fat chunky pencils. So again, it's, it's like a sort of triangle stuck on a circle and the hair is kind of really angular as well. Um, you can see why it's influenced so many sort of video games. That is kind of um, 3D sculpted hair. It looks a bit like Sonic's hair. Let's shade these in really quickly. Get those eyes done. Get that nose. Again, it's a really simple shaped nose. And once you're kind of happy with the formula with your drawings, then you can kind of go, oh, I know how to draw on this particular nose for this particular style. Let's, let's just keep that. We know how to draw that particular shape face for a male character or a female character. Or, you know, mess around. Start coming up with your own shapes, your own kind of jaw lines and face shapes for your characters. But once you have a sort of formula kind of and you know what you're sort of working towards, it makes it a lot easier. Let's rub out any lines that I don't need. Now, I don't tend to draw a lot, a lot in this style, so it's, it's something a little bit new for me. Um, I don't tend to draw other people's characters as well. Um, somebody got in touch with me on Instagram and asked me to draw the Silver Surfer for them. I don't really draw other people's characters. I tend to kind of either make up my own or just do my own drawings. I don't tend to sort of draw in the style of a manga cartoon necessarily. Uh, not for work, anyway, because uh, I haven't really done any sort of artwork for comic books or anything like that. But it's something quite nice to do, to try something new, try something that you're kind of a bit less familiar with, because it all kind of adds up to your sort of knowledge of drawing. So we're going to do our second male character, our final character. This character is going to be a little bit sort of uh, surprised. Um, I'm going to give this dude some quite long hair. Again, so some of the hairstyles for manga, some of them, you know, they can some work for boys and girls. I think this would probably work for both. But that's that's what makes it such an interesting thing to draw, an interesting thing to try. So this touches on the sort of stylized tutorial that we did a couple of weeks ago. I'm going to shade this in really quickly. So hopefully you can still see the sort of circle lines, the construction lines I like to call them before I read them out. Uh, of that sort of circle with that cross of where the kind of eyes are going to go and if you sort of move your head down you can sort of see oh, okay it goes down there, it goes down there. That's a really useful way of making sure everything sort of looks right. Another really good way is if you get your drawing and flip it round. So you take your drawing and hold it upside down and hold it up to the window. You sort of seeing it from behind, almost like a mirror image of your drawing. And sometimes you can sort of see things. Oh, that's not right. That eye looks really weird uh, when I turn it round. But if I turn it round the other way, it doesn't look weird. So it just kind of goes to show that there's lots of ways to kind of check on your drawings. Um, so that's another good way. Standing back, taking your drawing, holding it up to the window and turning it round so you can sort of see it from, from a mirror image or just hold it in front of the mirror, I suppose. Let's add a bit more detail. I've got some little lines on the hair. I've got some little lines rubbed out where the highlights are going to be. things a little bit neater. So there we go, that's our characters. We've got our boy characters and we've got our female characters. And we're going to use these next week to turn them into a sort of finished drawing with some ink. So until then, until next time, happy doodling and I shall see you very soon on Doodle Do It. Bye!